why did you join the Forms community of global growth companies? Well, I've been lucky enough uh, in a previous role to be part of the main Davos meeting, and I'd seen the interest that was being stimulated in what growth companies were doing, the fact that they were bringing new insights to the world as well as growth to the world. And when I changed to becoming chairman of a growth, a growth financial services business, a smaller company but a growth company, uh, I was thrilled to be able to keep my contact with, if you will, the Davos spirit, but seeing it formed in a new way to respond to the particular needs and interests of growth companies. And I think for people who haven't been to a Davos type experience, I mean, the first thing is you learn. You meet extraordinary people who have vision and commitment. And my experience has been you always learn from that kind of person. So being in that kind of environment is just incredibly stimulating. The second thing is you meet people and hear ideas which are of value for the business. And one of the challenges I think you have if you're a senior person with the chief executive or a chairman in the company is there's always a risk that you end up at the top of a pyramid and things get past you, but you don't broaden your view. And this gives you a fantastic opportunity to get back into what's driving companies around the world. So those are some of the reasons why I came. Um, speaking of risks, what do you see as a major risk for global growth companies in your industry, finance, going forward? Uh, well, right now, uh, the risk is that they are lending long and funding short, and there's no liquidity. And I, uh, hopefully by the time we uh, get to the next GGC meeting, some of that uh, heat and light will have uh, dissipated. Um, you know, it's a very, very competitive industry. And new entrants have to remember that, if you will, unlike consumer goods, where you can argue that a new consumer good, an, an iPod, can work, it way, work its way into people's budgets without too much effort. It has to display something, but it's not a huge purchase. In financial services, the real challenge, certainly in the consumer industry, is consumers aren't necessarily getting more money to be able to have multiple relationships. They're trying to simplify their life. So on the consumer side, delivering services in the face of intense competition is continues to be the challenge, whether you're big or small, although I do think that the smaller company has the opportunity to be very customer focused in a way that big companies sometimes forget how to do, and that's our small company advantage. Um, so I think that's, yeah. Great. Well, finally, and just one last thing, as a partner of the community of global growth companies, what do you see as the value uh, in Tinjin or our annual meeting of new champions coming up in September? Well, I think that there's value in a number of places. I mean, there's, there'll be value for those who've been before to continue the networking, the learning experience, to see new themes, because I think uh, the GGC meetings are going to do the same as the Davos meetings. You will start to see themes coalescing and changing over time. So there's always that sense of renewal. And for people who haven't been before, I think uh, GGC is, a, is going to be a great opportunity for them to come and participate in this uh, extraordinary melting pot of people and ideas. And actually when they come, they'll make it better for everyone who's there already because the network will get bigger and the learning experience will just expand geometrically. So I think it's going to be a fantastic opportunity. China is always an interesting place to go, but this isn't just a Chinese experience. It's, a, it's worldwide global growth companies, and I think we have huge amount to learn and contribute to each other, and that will be the heart of the experience.